majority of state agencies are struggling to stay above water financially. That's according to the Cabinet Secretary for the National Treasury and Planning, Ukuri Atani, who spoke during the coming into effect of the Kenya Transport and Logistics Network, KTLN, in Mombasa. Kevin Mutai reports on the rationale behind the creation of KTLN. The drying of the ink on the paper signifies the official merger of three state corporations, the Kenya Ports Authority, the Kenya Pipeline Corporation and the Kenya Railways Corporation. Established through a presidential order, the Kenya Transport and Logistics Network, KTLN, seeks to ensure that the three entities have a smoother path towards the attainment of efficiencies in their operations besides remaining financially viable. I every single day mourn about over 400 agencies that are being, tax, are being funded by taxpayers' money. And the majority are not performing. They are either in the red or they are struggling. And they keep on coming back to Treasury for bailout. KTLN will leverage on the efficiencies and synergies of the three state agencies to achieve the government's strategic agenda of becoming a regional logistics hub. One of the shared services will be on procurement, promotion of market-based transport, encourage greater use of locally manufactured spare parts, even that logistics. There's no point of you going to have an office in Malaba, KP is going to have an office in Malaba, Railway is going to have an office in Malaba, only all of you can operate under one roof. The Industrial and Commercial Development Corporation, ICDC, will act as a holding company for the three agencies and will be responsible for the management of the state's investments in ports, rail and pipeline services. We are looking at the beginnings of a new industry entirely in Mombasa, all created through such cooperation between KPA with KOT and KPC with KPRL. This framework just allows us to work better uh, and to work closer together to optimize our resources and harness our strengths. After our last meeting, the deliberations, we agreed that uh, this document uh, is ready for signature. Kenya Railways has, is being structured to increase efficiency and capacity in order to make it play a vital role in providing excellent engineering services to the three agencies. It is yet another attempt to rationalize the management of key state assets with a view of streamlining operations for the benefit of the taxpayer. Time will tell if any progress will be made towards that objective as the slow speed that the wheels of reform turn in government owing to bureaucracy and resistance to change is well known. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Mombasa.